so the ability to exaggerate comes on to the confidence. And it can tie into the Venus, it can tie into the Mercury, but there's going to be an abundance to a fault almost. Somewhere this exaggeration will come. And somewhere it will pump them up to make them leaders or everybody's like, oh, wow, they got this, wow, they did this. But inside of that, when you die, you can't bring it with you. Who do you attract? What do you attract? What do you... There's an undercurrent inside of Jupiter. Right understanding, wrong understanding. How many of us live a right understanding? Well, I'm more righteous than I'm living, okay? We all generally think that. Even a, a thief or murderer might think that. Well, I did that, but I'm not doing that now. And it's going on. So um, capturing how someone's understanding something, being able to see that, it's one of the last things that come in natal interpretations. How's that way? What's, oh, they have that belief. Oh, they're going for that. And we all have Jupiter somewhere, or they're, or they're twisted because they didn't get that. They went for it and something wrong happened. Not like they grew up with, with brothers and sisters and they thought they were great, but brothers and sisters didn't. Or not like m multiple things that happened. But, each one can condition your understanding. And that understanding about what's who I am will certainly have an effect. That confidence can easy, that kind of, it's easier to get what you want, easier to express yourself and be listened to, easier to feel secure because I'm going for this. It's arrogant, but it's noticeable. So it's lucky. But when it's it can't see. When it's affected by a misunderstanding, it can't see its own misunderstanding. You know? You're so vain, you probably think this song is about you. There's a kind of sign Jupiter. All but all vanity is goes into, into Venus too. So imagine someone with the sign conjunct Venus and Jupiter. Oh my goodness. Compared to someone with the the sun conjunct Saturn and Mars. Instantly, different types of struggles. So when you're seeing the stress, you're seeing there's going to be more stress and a struggle that the sun is fighting with Jupiter. It's stressing with Jupiter. It's going to be too exaggerated, too indulgent, or, or wrong and fighting to prove that one's right. You know, I used to think I had an ego, but then I found out ego was a fault, so I couldn't possibly have a fault. Duh. That's a bit of a mercury twist, but in the attitude. Confidence, what's too much confidence? <sighs> Hi, honey, I'm home. Drop the coat on the floor, plonk down. Where's my supper? And it, like, so it's a good thing, but it has its limits. And the limits are what's right or wrong, what's good or bad, how you affect people consciously or not. And even, it can be even negative in the sense of, if you, I'm linked at you, with the, moon, the sun Jupiter, you're likely to be in, aligned to a religious view or a spiritual view, and you're gonna push that on anyone you meet. And understand that anyone who's not there, that's why they're unlucky. But a lot will depend if your son's in the I, me, or we, us, or other things, it'll start showing in different perspectives. But there'll be a challenge. The stress factors come up with excess and proper perspective. So we've gone through the Jupiter and how the outside, what we're doing is affected by our inner feelings of needs for security, our inner thoughts, or our, our plans, our, val our values, what we like or what we want and our confidence and Jupiter's affecting all of those from the Jupiter's the outside understanding of where I fit in and what I can do the philosophy but depending on what you've done which is Mars the Mars ends up Jupiter's abundance it's exaggerating it's encouraging things you put it to Mars, which is the desire for experience. And you're going to desire to do everything and anything and do it as much as you can. Jupiter's going to encourage the aggression of Mars. 
when it's positive, it's someone who can be very strong, very athletic, and be, be working and be doing all, be very physically in shape and doing a lot of things. Maybe pushing too hard. These same things to work apply, but if Venus is applied, what satisfies you? What's contentment? That goes to sexuality. Mars is what you're doing for someone else. And you think you want to do everything. And then some, the other person may not want that much done. What's right? What's wrong? Who do you be? Where do you put your energy? I'm part of the team. What's that? Sometimes in sports, you're encouraging the adrenaline. So Jupiter to Mars will encourage adrenaline and take, make you force things and push muscles and push strength as far as you can. And then some. So that that can be you're a soldier, you know, you know, anyone is going to be physical and pushing. Someone with Jupiter Mars is going to have abundance of experience. A lot of Jupiter Mars stressful aspects, men or women are still going to have aggressive experience and want to do things. They want to get experienced and then some. So often these people will have early, earlier sexual experiences. They'll push things faster than they should with possible repercussions. It's better if you have the aggressive person that has that and you put it into sports and you put the activities out in abundance of ways so that the sexual experiences don't necessarily come too soon. But if we can control someone else's energy or not, it's a whole other thing. We try and be the teachers to guide other people or to guide our kids. But our kids may grow up fighting our understanding exactly. Come home by now. I want you home. There's a party tonight. I want you home by 11. Of course, you're not going to come home. What's going on? You're going to come home at 12 or 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning and get in trouble. So Mars and Jupiter can cause a lot of trouble from expanding in ways that aren't right. Or expanding just because you're in the adrenaline and you're going on it. You don't want to stop. But it's dealing with force and energy. So when Jupiter, like when Jupiter lies with Saturn, it's understanding restraint, discipline, authority. When Jupiter aligns with Mars, it's understanding aggression, adrenaline, force, power. So if Jupiter is conditioned to Mars too strongly, it encourages war and violence and aggression. If Jupiter conjunct Saturn encourages strictness and, and justice and limitations and discipline. Well, altogether, you know, like the star of Bethlehem, when Bethlehem was considered to be when Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn came to one point in the sky, they would look like one star, and that would be the star of wisdom, and someone born under that would be the king of kings. Or at least a prophet. You know, they would act understandingly and have the sense of restraint and aggression properly understood. That's special in the world. But if it goes more, if your Jupiter aligns more to Mars, you're going to try and expand your actions and push things further. If Jupiter is towards expanding towards Jupiter more, is going towards Jupiter more, you're going to expand the rules and try and set up bigger plans. Both are valid, both are useful. But what if they're wrong? You know, the right and wrong, but the Mars to Jupiter is right and wrong action. Out of all the things you did today, how many were good? According to health, according to thinking, according to values according to confidence. What have you put out there? What have you done with your day? What have you done with the last year? What have you done with your life? What have you done up till now? Well, I just got out of school. I took a job or I got married. I settled in and just done this. But it may not be, it may be too restrictive for what you should be doing. Maybe there's more things to do. What if you've done too much and you've done everything? Who's going to be, you're going to be meeting many people, but not many people will stay with you because not many people are doing so much like that. Usually that will work on a team or something. But you're understanding, encouraging aggression. You're going to run into physical experiences. Pushing too hard, break a leg, cut something, burn something, hurt something, hurt somebody. If you put, It's not wrong to be strong and put energy out, but if your strength and your energy and your impulses hurt someone else, well, there's long-term repercussions for that. That energy will come back at you. So there's always going to be a struggle between what have I done and why did I run into this? I didn't deserve this and I got to fight this. Someone's pushing me in the wrong way or someone's someone's chasing my girlfriend or someone's going after their boyfriend and, and how can they do this? Like one person, hey, it's flattering. I got two people. The other person is someone else is going to be threatened. And if your actions have repercussions, if they're not good, they're going to be bad. 
a lot of kids, a lot of people out there don't want to be good. They just want to get experience and they might even enjoy being bad for a while. It's not a smart understanding, but they can get away with it for a while. But the Jupiter is the wisdom to realize I can't do this forever or I shouldn't be doing this at all. How wise have you got? You have to grow into your wisdom. You have to make mistakes to learn you don't want to make those mistakes again. And to not make those mistakes again, if you get on a bike, you want to get on a bike, it's too soon. I got to get on the bike. I got to try it and you crash. And you get hurt. You may be afraid of getting on the bike again. But sooner or later, you have to be, you realize you have to be more disciplined and get some help to learn how to do it. So for a philosopher or someone who sees where things are going, or not a philosopher, but just people who's acting on an adventure. Jupiter is like the adventure. They go places to see things. I want to do this. I want to do everything. And the adrenaline goes towards that. But what do you accomplish with it? If it's just partying, it's just clubbing, if it's just dancing, if it's just sexing, if it's whatever, it may not be helping you get a career, integrate things, and you may not care. A lot of people live there. But then when you get close to them, you start running into the costs of the adrenaline. Like, do you want, if you're looking for a guy, are you looking for the nice, sweet guy next door who's just easier? Do you want the dangerous, harsh, challenging guy? You want your Tarzan. I can have this guy. I got this guy. So, like, that, that's... Um, I'm doing things with this. I'm aligning with this. So whether you, if anything you're trying to do, if it's dancing, if it's physical, if it's, but everybody's got their sexual energy of trying to get experience. And everyone has their understanding of what's wrong or right around it. Some with Mars Jupiter tends to attract high adrenaline relationships and putting out energy, but they also attract battles and fights. So they can hurt and they can be hurt. It's competitive. What's right? How could they do this to me? And it takes a long time to, like, 